Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I have for you my storage, well, my sticker storage video. Basically, how I am storing um, most of my stickers for my plan with me. So, if you're interested in seeing that, go ahead and continue to watch. <laughs> Okay guys, this beautiful box here, this Parisian box, well Parisian inspired and floral inspired box. Yes, I am rubbing it. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> I just love this box. My goodness, this beautiful box. I got this box as a gift from my daughter Desiree. She got this from Michael. And of course she used a 40% off coupon because, you know, I taught her, right? Anyway, <laughs> it's a gorgeous box. This box here houses all my stickers. Um, so yeah, let me just show you around the box. As you can see here, it's gorgeous. The height on this box is perfect for storing stuff. So this is the front of the box. It's just a flap with Velcro. It's one of my favorite things about it because of that. Anyway, let's just keep on going. Look at this. I just love this box. This box is gorgeous. It's beautiful. I love, love, love how it looks. Love it. So, quick fact about me. I used to take French class in high school. No, I don't know how to speak it. Well, but really I don't know anything but the bad words, really. <laughs> and um, I was a real, real jerk in class, so I got kicked out of French class. Half of the year I was there. I was there for at least half of the year, and she gave me a passing score. She didn't want me in her class any longer. I was disrupted to the class, and yeah, I was a real jerk. But at the same time, my parents was going through a divorce, so... It was a hard time for me. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into this. As you can see, this box houses a lot of stuff for me. I have here one, two, three, four accordion file folders. And I also have this little album here. And I have a recollections binder here. And I also have some mommy books back here. So I'm just going to go through this. I am not going to go through all my stickers with you. If you want to see my sticker collection, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I'll be happy to do that for you. But I wanted to show you, I have this in here and I haven't hauled it yet, but as you can see, it's so cool. I got this sticker pack from the Dollar Tree. It has approved, urgent, and to do. I love this because as you can see, it's cut right through. I've never seen a sticky notepad like this before. I haven't and I had to get it so haven't used it yet but I plan to and I also store my Becky Higgins corner um, cutter I guess yeah I got this from Hobby Lobby okay so let's just start I'm going to move the box out the way so let's go ahead and start with this little one here. I got this, well, I purchased this at Walmart. It was like for 99 cents, but it was perfect for my little stickers that I don't want to either get lost in between any other bigger ones or just forgotten about because I couldn't find them. So I put them all in here. I'm not gonna go through each one, but I am going to show you each page. I like this sticker book sticker book I like this album for the simple fact that you put either stickers basically photograph but stickers in this case from the top and it's secure there I've seen other ones from like the Dollar Tree and they're like open from the side here and let me tell you I go through this like a maniac I'm always like flashing by the pages I mean I'm a beast with this and like my kids say I manhandle a lot of stuff so with those I think my stickers would just fly off to the side or It'll start coming out and then I turn it and it'll get bent. So I didn't want that type of sticker book. So this one was perfect 
for what I needed it for. So this is what I have in here. Like I said, I'm just going to go through it. If you want me to go more into each one, let me know and I will actually record that for you. So now I'm going to go into this accordion file folder. I had this for like two years. I lost the button, as you can see. I need to buy another one. I got this from the Target dollar spot, and it's a pretty big one. Like, I love the height on this, and I can't find one just like this. I'm looking for one the same exact size. If any one of you know where I can get it or even where I could order it online from, let me know. Please go ahead and link it down below. I would appreciate it. So, anyway, this one is, I think, 13, 14... I think, yeah, 13. It's a 13 pocket. So it doesn't stand like the ones from the container store, but it has a lot, as you can see. I love it. I store most of all of my go-to stickers here. So yeah, I love how big this one is. It's, the slots are longer, like it's higher the height, and it's also wider. So that's this one here. So my second one I have here is this one. This one, I just recently purchased it from Job Lot. I don't know if they actually have a Job Lot in every state, but in my state they do. And it's just like a cheaper version of a big glass, put it that way. So this one has 12 pockets and it's not as tall as the Target one, but it does hold pretty well and I like it and I think I'm gonna go back and get me some more so these house mostly all of the rest of my go-to stickers here because I do have a lot of the little ones and, and let me just say this ahead of time my sticker collection grew because I really enjoy my planner envy site you have to go into her site if you want to grow your collection so here is the screen one that was just like the blue one that you just saw, but this one is housing all of my Recollection Coil Planner sticker kits that I have purchased or that I got as PR. And basically that means there are all Erin Condren size planner kits. So this is how it looks like when it's open. And if you can see, I have a lot of pack, pack, no pockets. I have a lot of pockets that need to be filled. So right now I have it, I guess, seasonal. Except for the front, the front I keep my monthly kits and then the second pocket, spring. The next one is summer and the one after that is fall. And I have no winter kits because obviously we just um, got out of winter, it's spring, so I use them all. And then back here, that I know you could see it, this is actually my wedding kit that I did when I had my shop. And I love it. It's gorgeous. And since I have three weddings now, three because my daughter's engaged, but she's not going to get married anytime soon. But my best friend also got engaged this month. No, last month. And my cousin just got engaged on Easter. So, yeah, I have a lot of weddings to either attend or plan. So my last accordion folder is housing my stickers for my personal size planner which um i use the so much crafting insert this accordion folder houses all of my personal planner kits and this is a smaller one as you can tell when i open it it doesn't have as many pockets so yeah but it's fine with me because it is for my personal planner and the sheets usually just consist of three to four at most so the front just like my other one will house all of my monthly stickers and then the second one is spring and then from there on it's summer fall so the last two pockets here are just which really supposed to be only in one so let me just put it in here these are the sticker kits that i don't know where or should i say not where when to use it like i don't know what season to use them in and yeah they're like pretty neutral like this one here this one is so freaking cute but I don't know when to use it, and I had it for a while, and I don't want to keep hoarding them. You know, same thing with this one here. 
I know this one would be perfect for either spring, but then it has like deeper, more fall colors than spring colors. I don't know, so I'm debating which season to use it. But other than that, I do have a slot that's empty also for my winter kits. So that is that, and those are all of my accordion folders. So next I have this binder uh, planner from Recollection that my daughter bought from Michael's. Sorry, you can see the tripod legs, but I can't do anything about it for now. So anyway, I um, am using this. She gave it to me basically because she's not using it, she's not utilizing it, and it's just collecting dust. So she gave it to me, and I decided to use it for my extras. Basically, whatever kit that I use for the week, um, if there's extras, even if I use the remaining for my personal planner, I do that with most of my kids, and sometimes I don't. But if I do and there's a little bit still left over, I cut up what's left of it and put it in here. So let me just show you. This here is a binder folder that I made on my own. I was on bed rest, I was bored, so I did this and I think it came out awesome. DIY, of course. So what I do is I just collect all of the extras from the kits that I've used. I usually put it in here, but I have these in here, which are the ones that I use from Easter, and I still have a whole bunch to use, so I don't know if I'm going to use this in my planner or not, basically my personal, because I did use a different Easter kit, so I don't know yet what am I going to do with this, so I'm going to leave it in here for now. But um, usually I'll just cut up the pieces if there's like a couple of sheets or only one sheet left and I will put it in here and then from here I'll go ahead and transfer it into pages like so. And this is what I usually do. If I have leftovers and I am, am planning and I'm missing an icon and I don't have one specific colors but I know in here I do, I just come here and I just take it out and peel it and that's it. So yeah, this is what I do with the extras. That way you can still obviously use it. We paid money for it. Well, I paid money for these, but I'm sure you pay money for yours. Why throw out the extras when you could reuse them? And this is a perfect way for you to see all the ones you have, and that way you could repurpose them in a different kit. So yeah. This is how I use my extras. So that's what this binder is for. Four. That is what I house in my um, sticker box, and that is how I store my stickers. So, if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Click on the subscription button down below. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube fam. And if you want me to actually film a sticker collection video, please go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I'll see what I could do. Other than that, I have nothing else to say besides I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.